if you're thinking about getting into a relationship you have to give advice to others who may want to get into a relationship are you just there because you like the video them this video is for you keep on watching <laughs> Hey church girl <laughs> and guys who watch this, welcome to my channel. This is the place for clean Christian content, Christian adventure, lifestyle advice videos, just a bag of excitement in the name of Jesus where we have couch converse that we just don't have in church. Now for my regular members, welcome back. Dear church girl tribe, my love and bad. And for those who are visiting, if it's your first time here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and notification button so that you'll never miss another video. If you're out here and you're catching on the sidelines, means that you're just a peek in, come on in. And those are the people who watch and don't subscribe. You're just catching on the corner. Stop catch and come in. Wipe off your foot on the mat and come in. It's very lovely over here. Now let's get right into the video. So I'll give a little disclaimer, right? So there are generally some things that you can hear anywhere. Love yourself, understand yourself, know, you know, work on your insecurities, work on yourself. You hear that all the time. Before I go into a relationship, I have to make sure that I do these things. I wanted to flip the switch a little bit and I want, and, I, and I'm doing this whole disclaimer because I want it to be very introspective, but I wanted to bring it from this perspective that I gen, I generally, I generally don't really subscribe to the notion that a relationship or even getting into like a serious relationship stops you from learning yourself, loving yourself, stops you from growing, right? So I don't think that you have to accomplish everything in the world before you decide to take somebody else serious because the truth is you, you allow people to grow, people grow together, people grow each other. If you've never watched my video where I spoke about grow together or something like customization, I'll link it right here, but it really speaks about the fact that you don't really try to perfect yourself before you go into a relationship really because we are never perfect but there are some things that i want us to consider before we even think about that next step and it's from this and it's from this it's and it's and it's this is and it's and it's it's really from and it's really the christian perspective that all of us should look from and i have my notes first question do you have a personal relationship with god and I want to make it clear that this does not mean that you need to be a biblical scholar. It does not mean that you need to be, you know, walking around and being a missionary. But it means that you need to be yearning for a personal relationship with God and working on it daily. Are you at a phase where at least once per day you are meeting with God and you're having your quiet time you're able to talk to him you're able to hear him you're able to understand that he is a very big part of your life if you're not working on that any at all if you're not striving towards that and you're a Christian then there's a possibility that you're not ready to go into a relationship because the first relationship that is paramount the one that is number one the one that will overarch everything that you'll do in all your other relationships whether it be intimate or platonic is the relationship that you have with God and that should come first so if you are not grounded if you don't think you're solid enough if you don't think that you know God enough if you think that anybody else coming in will distract you from your growth right now in the phase that you are then possibly it's time to put a halt on it because that's what's important at the end of the day when the role is called up yonder or when you're supposed to close your eyes tomorrow that's the only thing that will matter so are you in pursuit are you in pursuit of a genuine relationship with God if you want to know how to grow in your faith and how to develop that relationship I have a video I'll also link it and go ahead and you can watch that I'm also here if you have any questions concerns leave them in the comment and I'll be happy 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 to answer them second question do you know your triggers and I it's something that I'll say all the time you hear it in all my other videos but do you know your triggers and do you understand how your body works so I'm going to just assume that if you're watching this you're a Christian who yearns to save themselves until marriage you want to wait until you have found the one that god has sent for you and you want to wait until you go in front of the altar to have sex with them right so of course now before you go into a relationship you have to understand what your triggers are because you have to create a plan it's more than just it's more than just saying oh we're going to be in a relationship i'm going to be together we're going to date and we're going to court and whatever and it's going to be this amount of time and we just we, we're just going to not have sex <laughs> it don't <laughs> it don't <laughs> He don't work like that. You don't just say you're not gonna have sex and it just come like you don't come like sprinkles. You can't just throw some here and so throw some. No, you have to have a plan. But before you can make a plan on what you're going to do, what your boundaries are and stuff like that, you have to understand who you are. 
like you have to understand your body girls i'm talking to you you have to understand how you react during ovulation you have to also understand the, the types just your cycle and how different parts of the month will affect how you operate you have to understand what the darkness does to you and you have to understand that you have to understand all of those things before you'll be able to make a plan what is your plan for your purity journey is this something that can be shaken why are you on this journey because i've seen it more than once um i've had experiences with it when you've made a decision before you want god and then the guy come in and you know him turn your head turn your head because it's not in the moment you go in at the moment you're head chipping out in at the moment you're head chipping i have no sense you know, I have no sense. I start climbing all and all start just some foolishness. You know, I have no sense. But if if you had made that plan before, you wouldn't have gotten there in the first place. So you have to be able to learn yourself so that you can create an exit strategy, so that you can know a certain place you don't even better enter in order to make an exit strategy. So you have to make a plan. But in order to make the plan, you have to know yourself. So that's the second question. Before I go into the other points, I want you to stop this video right here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you're watching this video and you're feeling blessed by it, please leave a comment below. Tell me what are some things that you think we need to do in order to prepare ourselves mentally and even physically for a relationship. You can drop those in the comments below so we can get a little community going so we can talk and help each other out. Moving on to the next question. So the next question focuses a lot on emotional maturity. Are you ready for your done? Thoughts to be highlighted because when the things that only think by both on yourself try try to pair yourself with somebody else and be with somebody else just kind of can can give you a story it, it shows you your flaws it shows up the things that you need to work on and if you're not emotionally mature it's gonna be a problem and that's why some people say oh we're arguing all the time or whatever but it's because you're not emotionally mature enough to take constructive criticism in order to grow because remember we I would have mentioned before that I don't believe that they're perfect people. You can't perfect yourself before you pair yourself with somebody else. And together you work on each other to customize each other for each other. I have a video on that. You can go ahead and you can watch it. I'll link it right there. Now, in order for that process to take place, you have to be emotionally mature or you have to want to be emotionally mature. I can give you a quick example. So I grew up as an only child. Now when you grow up as an only child, everything you get, you get one you get your own you get and i never grew up with no cousins i never had i don't have a big family so i never grew up with a with a bag of people right so now because of that you know i always had my own room i always had my own stuff and my mother buying something she buying one she asked me is me 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 my focus no kind of fast forward that 20 years later the relationship that i am in now my boyfriend he grew up a little bit different he grew up with an extended family as a sibling and he grew up around cousins and stuff and how their family operates is that they share a lot i never realized i had selfish traits i don't think i'm a selfish person but i had selfish traits and it was something that i never realized now if we go on the road i feel like you must buy your food and you must buy your food and you must eat you but then I realized that sometimes their family buy they buy one food and they share it and I was like, but me not get my portion, my portion. Yeah. You understand? But that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a part of me that I know how to learn how to let go and it took a while because really and truly that's just not how I was cultured right and I said but Zara, these are this is a selfish trait something is wrong with this something is wrong that you always want your why why can't you be okay with sharing half with him you know it's not a big deal if you buy because it's like it might be it, it might be economically better for you to buy like a family size meal and share it up versus buying you know two stuff i mean say but me not gonna know when i done 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 so that but it doesn't have to be like that right so i had to now learn that i have i have this toxic trait and this is a trait that i now need to fix if you're not ready for some of those and yeah i have a lot more examples but me not try boring all right me have enough more examples where me find out stuff about myself him find out stuff about himself but and we both work on it if you're not ready for those harsh conversations or people to look at you and say this is what you're doing and it's crap and you need to fix it <laughs> in a loving way hallelujah but if you're not ready for those conversations to grow spiritually to grow emotionally to grow as a person then you might not be ready for a relationship next thing why do you want to go in a relationship is you just ready I? it's because it's a peter john and tommy getting married that you feel like okay you need to hurry up and get this done 
or do you feel that God has called you to be in a relationship which will further be a ministry in marriage because marriage and a pian pian something and we think we, we think a lot about the wedding we think a lot about the fandangles and the ceremony and the excitement but marriage is something that is holy it is something that is sanctified and it's something that serves a purpose there were two institutions that were made in the garden of eden one was marriage and the other one was the sabbath and it's something that god holds at a very high level so is it because you feel as if this is the calling god has for your life you think that you would do better as a sec you, you would do better with a second person your ministry will go further because let's say for example the calling god has for your life is to go and be a missionary all over the world to live in these random places for full time so you spend five years in israel two years there so that then obviously maybe family life is not what your calling is so you have to be very intentional about it why do you want this why do you want a partner why do you want to go into this relationship is it because you're a bad man already I? or is it because you genuinely believe after you know praying about it and and whatever that at, at this point this is what god is telling you to do check yourself because bad men don't cute bad men bad men don't cute it don't bad men don't stay good mm -mm, no no boo boo no no you have to be doing it for the right reasons <laughs> or else you're going to flop and if you flop then you say jeez i'm everything to try no work hmm, it's because that's not what i wanted for you right now okay and the last thing i want to share is before you enter into another relationship find a healthy relationship and see what it looks like now there's a saying that goes that if you want something you must always try to find somebody that have it and emulate them but i want you to pay attention because it's not just emulating what you see because what you see is not always so it go let me tell you something instagram is a liar instagram is a highlight reel social media tiktok facebook is a highlight reel people put their best selves out there so it's more than just seeing pretty pictures and understanding what pretty pictures mean but is finding that healthy relationship means more than just what you see and that's the point i want to say the point about finding the healthy relationship is that you're going to ask questions you're going to spend time around these people you're going to observe keep your eyes open there are certain things there there are certain things the, the fruit of the spirit in galatians 5 love joy peace long suffering And the mother couple i recommend it be a couple that you know personally somebody that you know past instagram pictures somebody that you can ask questions somebody who can share their deepest darkest truths about their relationships with you who will be open to helping you to evolve and to say yes we argue sometimes but this is how we deal with it because the bible tells us that by our fruit we shall by your fruit you shall know them and, and then the fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience long suffering gentleness um self-control you should be able to see that in their daily interactions with other people hey what you say zara yes not just each other so not just how they treat each other but how they treat other people because if the two persons aren't healthy persons as individuals then the relationship can be healthy and i'll be very specific to make sure that your model couple is a couple that you can talk to not just pictures because pictures don't do justice pictures don't do justice it needs to be somebody who you can open up to so that you can know exactly what you need to look for or better yet what you can do is find a series of couples that you look on and pull different characteristics from their relationship so you might have couple a and couple a is very healthy in the way they deal with conflict and you take couple A's approach to conflict and you say okay if i should enter into a relationship then i know that i need to be a little gentler i need to learn how to not eat my I eat my food while it's hot and whatever because that's what i see in that relationship and i really i like that you have couple b couple b business people they're very good with money and whatever and you see what you can learn from them and then you, then you kind of pull that so that you now have a genuine understanding of how you're supposed to behave how the, what you expect from this other person and it's not like any unrealistic expectation guys it's real life you see somebody and you say okay i like how they do this let me pull that because at the end of the day remember that all our relationships should be helping us on our christian journey all of our relationships should be really kind of sifting us down and helping us to better christians so we will be better citizens in this world so that we'll be better representations of christ because at the end of the day your life is your biggest sermon your lifestyle is your best ministry P
Period. Your lifestyle is your best ministry. Period. <laughs> the way you live in a community, the way you live in society, the way you treat people, that's what's going to matter. That's your biggest ministry and you don't want to take it for granted. And I want you to take these questions seriously, do the introspection to see if really and truly getting into a relationship right now is the best thing. If you learned something from this video, I want you to drop a comment below. If you liked it, drop a comment below. Please comment, subscribe and share with your friends and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.